Hey everyone, Elisa Southall with A People Partner. Um, I have an article that I'm gonna drop for you all. I didn't write it. Um, it's a Forbes article from March 1st of this year. Um, I was looking up some things on generations in the workforce. If you if you know me, you know that I'm big on educating people on generations in the workforce. And um, really there's many reasons why that's important, but there are five generations. They want sometimes similar things, but they want them in different ways. Um, so I believe in understanding how your, what majority of your population is, uh, as far as generations and understanding how to work, have those generations work together. So there's an article here from Thomas Jensen, who's a Forbes Council's member. Um, and it's called multi-generation workforce, not all employees are millennials. Um, I just want to touch on a couple of the things that it talks about. So some of the quick points. Um, millennials are the largest component of the workforce in most companies. So rather than like ragging on them, we should probably figure out a solution. Um, and they've grown up in a purely digital context during a time when society's traditional values had significantly changed. So that's another big area that we need to consider. Um, some you know, big factors that they tick off, loyalty, they no longer focus on loyalty toward one job or company. Um, Patient, they don't have the patience to wait three to two to three years to be successful in their job, um, and they um, they want attention because they live in an environment that's changing more quickly. Um, they they don't need the attention because they live in an environment that's changing more quickly. So um, there are some examples here that outline that um, some of the suggestions that they bring. Um, build teams that include multi-generations, encourage sessions in which in, uh, everyone learns from each other, show that, that past achievements also have value for the future while adapting to new ways of working, and um, a shared identity that evolves over time. So, you know, I really think that um, we can look at this article and we can pull some things from it that really help us understand generations in the workforce and how we can be better and, and more purposeful in how we're building out um, cultures and, and leadership strategies and things like that. They even recommend maybe having a millennial coach um, come in and talk with your leadership team. For me, what it boils down to is I really think we need to encourage those sessions in which sessions in which people learn from each other. Bring all the different people to the table and say, here's what we want, why we want it, right? So we're coming with a solution focus. Here's what we want, why we want it, and why we think it'll be beneficial. Um, and maybe it's not a one size fits all. And maybe we need to get rid of policies that align with, you know, our organization has one policy for this. Maybe there's a policy that says, you know, here are the options and you sort of work within them, especially when we think about remote work, right? Maybe there's a, you can work from anywhere policy so that if people wanted to come in, they have that option. Um, anyway, you know, I don't agree with some of the strong language sometimes that it used in, uh, that this article uses, um, but I really want you to sort of digest this information and see if there's ways that you can make change in your organization. I'm very passionate about generations in the workforce, love talking about them, love finding new ways to improve um, cultures and things surrounding that. So if you're some, if you're a company that's like, we have multi-generations and we don't even know the first step to take and you don't wanna read the article or you're like, how do we even do some of this stuff? Um, call a people partner, call me and I'm happy to help you. That's one of the projects that we can work on for you. Um, so happy Friday or whatever day it is, wherever you are. Um, but I really wanted to share that with you. And hopefully this article brings you some um, education and some value. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you.